So in this video, I'm going to solve the natural log of x plus 1 plus the natural log of x is equal to the natural log of 6. Now on the left hand side, we can use our product rule to bring those two logs together. And we can write that as the natural log of x plus 1 times x, like so. And the right hand side is just the natural log of 6. So we have the natural log of x squared plus x on the left hand side. And now that we've got the natural log of something is equal to the natural log of something else, the x squared plus x would have to be equal to the 6. We can do that by essentially doing e to the power of both sides, which will knock out the logs. So we'll have x squared plus x would be equal to 6. So if I subtract 6 from both sides, and then we factorise this, we're going to get x plus 3 times x take away 2 is equal to 0. So either x is equal to negative 3 or x is equal to 2. Now, of course, we need to double check that both of those solutions work in the original equation. x equals negative 3 doesn't because we can see it either here, we'll have natural log of minus 2, or here natural log of minus 3. That does not work. OK, so we cannot have natural log of a negative value. So for minus 3, it is undefined for real values. It's undefined for real values. OK, so x equals 2, however, does work here, log of 3 log of 2, so it's fine. So x equals 2 is the only real solution to the original equation.